Have you ever tried to buy a product online, but then when you made it to checkout, the shipping price of the product was so outrageous that you just ended up clicking off? I think we've all experienced that at least a time or two. And look, let me tell you, the amount of missed sales that these people with high shipping prices are missing out on, it could potentially change your life. But then comes the question, why are they charging as much as they are for shipping? Well, to give you the simple breakdown, they're trying to cover the cost of advertising the product plus shipping worldwide. But they're doing one thing wrong. They're charging every customer the same price to ship to globally, not taking into consideration different country shipping costs. It's not costing the seller the same amount of shipping fees to get the product to one country compared to others, which I've seen has caused such a huge loss in revenue and more importantly, profit for so many different online sellers. And I don't want that to be you. So in this quick video, I'm gonna show you how to accurately set up shipping zones that will help you accurately and fairly charge your customers so you don't end up with missed sale after missed sale. But look, real quick before we get into the setup of the shipping zones, the first thing that you need to know how to do is how to price your products competitively in the market. And there's a very simple rule that you should be following. And that rule is that your products need to be sold for at least 2.5 times your cost of goods. Let me go ahead and show you an example of this rule quick. So let's go ahead and say I want to sell this pet seat cover right here. You can see that the price of the product is $26.54 and the shipping is currently free to ship to the United States. So with that information, you should take that $26.54 and then multiply it by 2.5, which is going to give you a total of $66.35. So what that magic number is telling you is that as long as you're pricing your product for at least $66.35 and you are going to be shipping to the United States, which is free from the supplier, then ultimately without affecting your margins, you do not need to be charging shipping to your customers in the United States. Now let's say that we go ahead and change the shipping destination to somewhere in South America or somewhere else in the world. You're most likely going to see that the shipping rates from your supplier increases from free to anywhere between three and ten dollars. Now even with the shipping price increasing, it should not deter you away from wanting to sell globally. You just now need to make sure that the shipping reflects what needs to be charged for those locations outside of the United States and reflect it on your Shopify store. Let me go ahead and show you how you're going to do that. On Shopify you want to come down over here and click on settings. Next you want to come to shipping and delivery. Next you want to go ahead and click on general shipping rates and when you do click on this, it's going to apply this to every single product. And now look, there's going to be different products that you want to charge different shipping to. And if you ever want to make it custom to a certain product, you can come over here to custom shipping rates and then click on create a new profile. And as you can see, you can add specific products here where they can have their own shipping associated. But let's go ahead and keep this general for now. So we're going to click on general shipping rates and down below, you're going to see shipping zones. Where in the shipping zones, you can see it's separated between domestic and United States and then rest of the world. And there's a button up here that says add shipping zone. And I always recommend that you advertise towards the top five countries, United States, States, United Kingdom, Australia, Canada, and New Zealand. And you can set up custom shipping rates to each one of these countries depending on the shipping cost that you're getting. How you're gonna do that is you're gonna click on add shipping zone. Let's go ahead and make the zone name United Kingdom. Now in the shipping zones, we're actually gonna type in United Kingdom, check mark it, and then click done. Right after adding it, you should see it right here. And let's say for the United Kingdom, you have to charge an extra $5 for shipping to at least stay in that 2.5x margin. To do that, you're gonna come over here and click on add rate, use flat rate. You wanna click on the shipping rate that matches how long it takes to deliver, and then setting the price. So again, for this example, if it's $5 to ship to the United Kingdom, I'm gonna go ahead and set $4.99. And then once I'm done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and click done. Now you can come back over here to add shipping zone again, and we can go to the next one. For example, Australia. And then every country that you're gonna add, you're gonna see them all stacking up here. Now let's say that you wanna get free shipping to the United States. What you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here and click on domestic United States and click add rate. And if I wanna offer free shipping to the United States, I'm just simply gonna leave this at $0 and then go ahead and click on done. And now you see I'm offering free shipping to the United States, $5 for shipping to the United Kingdom, $4 to Australia, Australia and so on and so forth for exactly how you want to set it up. Now there's one more trick that I want to show you if you want to incentivize the customer to buy more on your store. So for that Pessy cover earlier, like I told you, it was $66. And let's say that you want people to buy more than two. You can actually set up custom shipping where you can say to the user, anyone who spends over $70 will get free shipping. Basically playing the psychology in the user's mind that if I go buy more, I will save more. Let me go ahead and show you how to set that up too. So let's do it for United States. For example, we're going to come over here and click on add rate. We're then going to come down over here and click on add conditional pricing and then based off of order price. I can come back into the free shipping one that I already set up, click on these three dots and click edit rate. I can name the custom rate name under $70 and let's say I'm gonna charge $5 for shipping. Next, I'm gonna click on add conditional pricing and we're gonna go ahead and put the maximum price of $69.99. Meaning that if somebody spends $69.99 and less, they will be charged shipping. Once I'm done with this, I can click done. Then I'm gonna come back and click on add rate again. I'm gonna make the price free, add conditional pricing again, based off of order price and then make the minimum price $70. So now what I have set up is if the customer comes in and only buys one item for under $69.99, they will be charged shipping. But if they spend more than $70, 
they will get free shipping. And you can add that in the announcement bar of your store as well, saying free shipping on orders over $70. Again, incentivizing the customer to spend more. And you could do this for any country that you want. And now that you've learned how to one, price your products accurately to achieve the right profit margins, and two, set up shipping zones to ensure precise shipping costs, you can confidently start selling on your Shopify store without worrying about losing sales due to incorrectly setting up shipping rates. Now I'm gonna go ahead and drop a link down in my description that's gonna give you a free trial with Shopify, plus your first month only costing you $1 so you can set up your shipping rates and finally start selling. And look, there's a ton of small things that can affect the success of your dropshipping business. But let me tell you, those small things, they do add up. So if you're having specific questions that you need or want answered that you just cannot find anywhere else, then go ahead and drop a comment down below with the question that you have so I can go ahead and get it answered and give you the support that you're looking for. But if you're someone who's looking for more one-on-one -on -one guidance towards reaching your dropshipping goals in the most streamlined way, no matter your experience level, and you want the same insights and strategies that have taken students like Asian A, from $0 in sales to over $50,000 in revenue generated in just a couple weeks, then go ahead and click on the link down in my description and apply for one of the limited spots available in my one-on-one -on -one mentorship program. So now it's time to get to work and I'm gonna leave you all to it. This is AC with Supreme Ecom and I'm out.